Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Trevor Adams and uh, it's a, a privilege to be asked to give some encouraging words to yourselves as we are in a season of prayer and fasting. I just love the theme about repositioning, repositioning through, through the Holy Spirit and my reflection is taken from Zechariah 4 6 not by might nor by power but by my spirit not by might nor by power but by my spirit and why I'm so excited about this particular theme why I'm so excited about this particular word is because of the entire idea of positioning and repositioning but also that suggests to me that God is at work. God is doing something. God is about to change something. God is about to change a situation. God is about to step into God's world and to bring about change. God is about to step into your world to bring about change through repositioning. Repositioning tells us that positioning is important. If it wasn't important, then there would be no need for repositioning. When we are positioned, it means that we are aligned. We are aligned. We are positioned, we are aligned, and we are aligned with whatever it is, the purpose for which positioning becomes important, the purpose for which positioning becomes very, very important. And I want you to know that where you are at this present time is not by accident, it's not a coincidence, but God has positioned you in a position to reposition you. God has positioned you into a position to reposition you. Now, when you look at your situation, when you look at your circumstances, when you think about the way that you feel, you may come to the conclusion that I am in the wrong place. I need to be in a, in a different position. Now, what the Bible clearly shows us in a number of different scenarios, in a number of different uh, scriptures, is the fact that within human existence that God often has a conversation outside of our view, outside of our reality. God has conversations. And here we are given an insight into a conversation between God and Zechariah, between God and uh, Zechariah through the angel. Here is a conversation that God is having to position, to give direction to the work in terms of the rebuilding of the temple. God is given a word that is going to encourage, that's going to lift up those who are working on an initiative. You might be working on something now and you may feel that God is not there. God, where are you? God, you are nowhere to be seen in my situation. You are nowhere to be seen by my eyes. But I want to encourage you that God is still at work, that behind the scene, if God can reveal the curtain, if God can draw back the curtain and show you, there is a conversation that is taking place. There is a conversation that is taking place that is bringing revelation into what God is doing. And God positions Zachariah so that Zachariah can get some insight into what was happening in the spiritual realm that is about to transform what is actually happening in the natural realm. What is taking place in the spiritual realm that is going to have an impact on the natural realm. Whatever you're going through, whatever you're thinking that is actually happening at the moment where you feel that there's no sense of hope, where you feel that there's no sense of change, I want to encourage you that change is about to come. That God is shifting some things that have been out of position. God is shifting the, the spiritual furniture. God is shifting people around to position them. God is ordering your step, ordering your step, putting your steps into particular position so that God's plans can be fulfilled. And what is interesting is that God steps into the scenario, the rebuilding of the temple, and God gives a word to Zechariah. 
God gives a word from Zechariah. One word, one word from God can begin to give us insights into why and what and when and where and how and who. Irrespective of how things look in the natural, irrespective of how things look with our natural eyes, irrespective of what we know and what we understand. And I just love what God says to Zechariah, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. Because when we want things to shift, when we want things to move, we often think that this thing has to be moved by power. It has to be moved by strength. And God calmly says through the angels, um, to the angel through Zechariah, to Zechariah through the angel, it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by my spirit. There's not going to be any move of strength. There's not going to be any move of force. But things are about to change. And I want you to know that it is my spirit that is going to bring about this change. You may be in a situation that seems immovable. You may see be in a situation where you just want the mountain to move. You want the mountain to, to move. And you may have read the scripture by thinking that the way that God is going to deal with the situation is by moving the mountain. By moving the mountain. But God, sometimes God does not move the mountain. Sometimes God does not move the mountain, but God moves us doesn't move the mountain but God moves us and when the scriptures talks about the mountain it actually in the Amplified Bible it says that that the mountain will become insignificant insignificant the mountain may still well be there but the mountain will be insignificant notice the difference the mountain will still be there but it becomes insignificant. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit. God is about to move. God is repositioning his people. God is repositioning his church. Do not be uh, for one moment thinking that God has abandoned. God hasn't abandoned. God is re repositioning. Things are moving in the spirit. Things are changing in the spirit to bring about God's plan, God's purpose, God's objective. God's plan, God's purpose, God's objective. Be encouraged, my brother. Be encouraged, my sister. It's not by might. It's not by power. This mountain is going to move. The mountain is going to be insignificant. It is going to be insignificant. The mountain may still be there. The mountain might still seem large, but it becomes insignificant because of God's power, because of God's spirit, because of the move of God on your situation, on your circumstances. Watch and see what God is about to do in your life. Watch and see what God is about to do in your situation. Not going to move the mountain. God's going to reposition you. Not going to change your situation, circumstances. He's going to reposition you. Because when God positions you, when God positions me, then something amazing is going to happen. And God says to Zechariah, you know, Zerubbabel is his hand that has started this work. And it is hand that is going to complete this work. God is saying, you know what, there's nothing that's going to stop this work. This Zerubel's hand started it and Zerubel's hands will complete it. God bless you. Take care.